not watching footage of a new alien movie, although that would be cool. What is happening here is stranger than fiction. Voodoo wasps will impregnate a caterpillar and its larvae will consume it from the inside out. That's gotta hurt! <laughs> and it gets weirder from there. The term voodoo wasps refers to the 600,000 species of parasitoid wasps that come in all different shapes and colors. Some of these will literally take over a variety of hosts. These include caterpillars, which are the most common, cockroaches, and spiders. So, perfect pet if you live in New York City. However, the majority of species only target one. They can be found all across the globe. But even if they're in your backyard, it's likely you won't even see them due to their size. The largest measure less than four centimeters long, and the smallest can buzz through the eye of a needle. The majority are smaller than six millimeters. So petite, yet so gruesome. That's nature for ya. Ew. Parasitoid wasps seek out unwilling insects to use as an incubator and protection for their precious eggs. It can take 20 days for these eggs to turn into larvae. The larvae receive nutrients as they eat the unfortunate host from the inside. Talk about a one-sided relationship. Did you ever love me or? However, the larvae will purposely not consume any vital organs. Why, you ask? Well, to turn it into a zombie bodyguard, of course. When ready, they will use their jagged jaws to exit through the skin of the host, all while releasing chemicals that leave the victim paralyzed until they're out. The larvae spin a cocoon, waiting roughly another 12 days before emerging as an adult wasp. During this time, the infected host appears to be under the control of the larvae. It'll thrash around fending off threats from other insects. It'll continue to stay alive and under the wasp's spell until it inevitably starves to death. An important ingredient to this whole operation is the wasp's venom. Venom in the animal kingdom is usually used for defense and offense, but not when it comes to the voodoo wasp. Their venom is used to manipulate physiology, metabolism, and behavior. This includes immune suppression, which can lead to the host's inability to fight back against the invaders inside its body. It'll also cause nerve cells to die and dysregulation of neurotransmitters like dopamine. In humans, low dopamine can be linked to Parkinson's disease, which can cause abnormalities in body movements. Okie doke, it's time to shift away from the brutality and focus on some of the positive things that these voodoo wasps can bring to our planet. Although they use some scary looking procreating tactics, they are harmless to humans. They can actually be beneficial for our farms and gardens. You do that voodoo you do, voodoo wasp. Parasitoid wasps are being used as a form of natural insecticide. Since most target one insect species, we can introduce an abundance of wasps into areas that need some pest population control when it comes to invasive insects. From California's battle against the olive fruit fly back in 2009 to the current ongoing issues with crop-destroying mealybugs across Southeast Asia, voodoo wasps are getting the call. Who are you gonna call? Voodoo wasps! That doesn't quite have the same ring as Ghostbusters. If you thought this was weird, you haven't seen anything yet. Check out our video on a fungus that has mind-controlling powers. Turning insects into zombies is what voodoo wasps do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures. <laughs>